War of the Worlds, again, was supervised by Steve Golly. And then Lauren Peterson did this sink. It wasn't a sinkhole, but it was an eruption. It kind of went into the ground. It was when the tripods were waking up. Um, and the, the tripod itself that I did, um, I mean, it was a good size, like three feet long. And um, basically, I was kind of fighting, not fighting, but I really wanted to do a nice, high, detailed shooting model to shoot. I mean, because I think we could have done that one scene, but they already had the CG version done, so they did that. My scene, when it was coming out of the ground, and first rising out of the ground, and the ground was erupting, and all the dirt was kind of like flying off it, that was the model that I built. Now, it was cut between the practical model and then the CG version. It was, supposed, it was basically a mandrel so it would move the dirt, but they wanted me to paint it and detail it out a little bit more so they could actually shoot it and so you could see it through the dirt. Um, I'm working, um, I was actually working with John Goodson on the same project, but he was on another project, and he wanted to say, let me know if you can do more detailed work and more stuff because I'd love to help you. And it's like, oh, that, that'd be fantastic because he was over at CG by then, but he was working on both pro projects and, and doing model work on, on, on War of the Worlds. So so um, it came to be that Dennis really didn't want to do any more high-level detail work because they did have a model they were going to do in CG, which was fine. I was happy to do you know whatever works out and being able to do the, the tripod to, as what they wanted. So it was it was fun. So it was like the main alien tripod that was very cool to, to work on. And it wasn't a little thing. It was this nice big piece, you know. So um, um, the only thing I didn't do, I didn't do any legs or anything. It was like something that was going to be pushed up, up in the ground. So I... I took the blueprints and started doing some, and it was all out of um, um, rigid foam, like carving in a rigid foam, and some out of um, rim shape, but most of it was like vacuum formed, you know, um, a, a thick um, styrene plastic, um, and different variations and all put together. John actually made a small little a model, a maquette, of, of one that he did for the concept thing, which was beautiful, and he said that he was told who would be good for a sample paint job on this on this alien ship, and then he recommended me doing it. So one day I came in. He goes, "Oh, did you talk to Dennis yet?" I'm like, "Well, no. What is it? What, what they want you? They need a sample, a painting of this War of the Worlds, uh, you know, tripod to to um to to show you know Stephen." I'm like, "Really? <laughs> That's cool." I was like, "Yeah, I'd love to do it." So I had a little project. I was pulled off what I was doing, and I started doing concept paint jobs on the, the tripod and I came up with three different versions and I went over to you know Dennis's office and he goes hey how you doing Danny let's see what we have here and it was really really open very honest and he was like straight at the point okay this is great okay this is this is good I like what you did here um this this won't work this is uh, that that's no no so he was that I was like cool so it went down to two and then and he goes oh I like the the aging kind of you did on here the modeling you did on we want that and and kind of bring up this highlight on this area but this this is good and, and so we need about four of these for the weekend because I'm going over to Steven Spielberg and showing him how this looks and we're going to hand one off to Stan Winston Studios. I'm like, okay, it was like Thursday. <laughs> so, so I did that and I worked on all, all of them for Dennis and I, I, I think I did about three or four. That Saturday, he went to L.A., I remember this, I actually, uh, I couldn't believe it, I got a phone call because Dennis had all these, uh, the samples in, in a box. Somehow, the cleaning lady came in and took the box away and <laughs> threw out. The, so I, I don't know if it was all of them or one, but there was, there was, they needed me to do another one or two or whatever because they had a video. They threw away the, the, uh, the bathing samples. And he goes, well, we, we really need So I, I went there on, on Saturday to, to do, I think it was a couple more, to ship at FedEx it and, and so he could give it off to, you know, um, the people, and then it, it, it was funny because it was one of those things where um, you just know oh, that's crazy is how, how things get done in this business. Next thing you know, you got to do it a little more. Because on top of it, too, it's like you know, the ones you did, you really make sure they're nice, you know, and they look just right. They're going to film where you throw it away. I'm like, oh God. So I look at got, got pictures and using my memory and did it. And um, it was just kind of nice. They, I mean, they eventually they liked it. And I'm sure when they got in the CG version, they probably changed some color or whatever. But it was nice to have some input practically on, on the, the paint scheme on, on the tripod. And, um, and knowing that um, after Stephen uh, you know, proves it, you know, um, you know, Stan Winston Studios takes one of the samples and looks at it too. And, and um, I think they did like a large version of the front part of the tripod. And I was like asking Steve, well, why didn't we get to do that? <laughs> but I'm like, I don't know what would ever happen. It's like uh, I still got to do. Um, you know, my input, that was, was neat.